It's the scandal that has rocked the city of Los Angeles and now defined the final mayoral debate between Congresswoman Karen Bass and developer Rick Caruso. We need to have a just, equitable, and inclusive city. We cannot tolerate hate speech or racism in our city. Those officials must resign, but that's not enough. We need a new direction in L.A. and new leadership. The leaked audio of racist remarks and political scheming by three city council members and now a former labor union leader prompting both candidates to call for change. I think that we are going to have chaos in city council until they step down. I think it's the job of the mayor to make sure we don't have chaos in city council while this is going on. The job of the mayor is to be a stabilizing force. Both candidates calling for healing. Bass leaning on her experience as a community organizer to bring people together. When we formed Community Coalition, it was deliberately built as an African American and Latino organization. And I'm proud to say that we invested a lot of time in developing two generations of young people who understand the history of black folks and brown folks. Caruso underscoring his philanthropy towards underserved communities. I connect with the Latino community, but quite frankly, my job as mayor is to connect with every community, the Latino community, the black community, the Asian community, right? The Jewish community. If one group rises, we all rise. Housing affordability, crime, and homelessness also on the ballot. We are going to end homelessness in Los Angeles. I want to declare a state of emergency on day one. There's only one candidate that's ever been responsible for overseeing the Los Angeles Police Department that's running for mayor. And that candidate, along with my fellow commissioners, we put in new leadership, we instituted community policing, we hired 800 officers. We dropped the crime in the city. We made every corner of this city safer. All right, and there you have it. That is the final debate. The election is on November 8th. Ballots are already in the mail to all registered voters. If you're not registered and you want to do so, the deadline is October 24th. I'm John Finolio.